You know, it was just this, this very organic process that I can't really point to the first, the first thing that just set me off and made me want to make a film about it. But I think all artwork happens that way, where it's just an accumulation of ideas. And I kind of realized one day that I was thinking about this science fiction version of the haves and the have-nots, and I just decided to start working on it. Elysium is a place, it's an orbital habitat that got built. Um, it, they, they began building it about 50 years from now, and it took 30 years to build. And uh, by the time the movie takes place, this space habitat holds all of the wealth and all of the rich people have moved there, and they've left a destitute, damaged Earth behind. He's someone I would like to work with more, you know, just a, just a really absolutely professional, um, incredibly talented, decent person, which I think is a rare thing in Hollywood. There's a very particular breed of South African Special Forces soldier. Like, I read a lot of hi sort of military history, and, and some of the clandestine warfare stuff that South Africa was doing in the 70s and the 80s is pretty insane. And there was a breed of soldiers that came out of that that we modeled him after. So, you know, Craw Shaw brings him to life and, and gave me different accents of what he could sound like and how he could behave. Um, but it was based on the principle of, of a South African mercenary. Jody, I really don't have enough good things to say about. Like, I just, I really, really, really like her. And she's someone who, besides just being such a professional, um, she, her, her, her no BS personality and just, just calling it like it is, is so refreshing and so, um, it's the kind of thing I'd like to be around when I'm, when I'm working. She just has a really great vibe about her. I think people that like District 9 have a high probability of liking Elysium because there are, it's actually cut from a similar cloth. Like at the, at the, right at the end of filming District 9, or not filming, at the end of making District 9, I began writing this. And they, they, they very much come from the same thought process, you know. Um, so there's, there's, there's common DNA sort of themes that run through both films that I think will resonate. If you, if you like that film, you, you, sh you, they, you will like elements of this for sure. At its core, it has it has quite an emotional story, um, and you know this is my favorite genre. But I know there are a lot of people that don't like science fiction, and I think that in the case of Elysium, there's a story to grip onto that transcends just the genre of Elys of, of, of sci-fi and what you're looking for in sci-fi. It has all of those elements, but it has it has a it has a soulful story beyond that.